All right, <clears throat> so here we have the Finnish haptic glove. I know that it looks like a mess of wires, but it, it's all connected. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to 3D print the control casing, so I'm still using the, uh, the cardboard prototype. But for our purposes here, uh, the cardboard prototype uh, works fine. I also, I wanted to 3D print sort of like a, a, a rigid mount for uh, the, the glove, uh, but I decided to stick with what I had for the cardboard prototype, which was this cardboard sort of shape that you can see sort of underneath all of the wire assemblies. Uh, I was luckily able to print uh, all of the components for the wi wiring assemblies, and uh, so uh, here they are. It's a little hard to see with, with all of the, uh, the wires, but you can see uh, the potentiometer is uh, inside this sort of like uh, wire holder. Uh, we have our spool uh, with our, uh, our stopper, um, our, our stopper uh, screw. So as you notice, as we pull, as we close our finger, uh, it pulls, uh, it uh, spins the, the spool clockwise. Um, unfortunately, uh, the, the, it was originally set up uh, in the other direction, but I found out that the, the, the servo only turns counterclockwise. Uh, from its perspective, I suppose, clockwise, uh, how, it, how it is here. So uh, I had to, to reorganize a few things. Um, we still have our uh, vibration motors. Uh, I wasn't able to solder uh, this last one, uh, but the, the other three are uh, soldered and connected properly. Uh, we have our servos, of course. Um, and, uh, a lot of this is kind of put together with hot glue, uh, in a bit of a dream. Um, we're using this, this small, this really small, uh, breadboard to connect all of our wiring. And, uh, underneath the, underneath the hatch here, you see that we have everything wired to our, our so here you see uh, we have our uh, sort of demo environment. Um, so if I bring my hand into view here, you should see that as I curl my index finger, the index finger of, of the hand in the Unity environment curls. If I curl my middle finger, uh, the middle finger of the hand. Uh, I, I've mapped the ring finger and the pinky finger to follow the middle finger. Uh, I mean, in in a game environment, uh, I think that's that's all that would be really necessary. And also for the scope of this project, I only needed to track three fingers. Um, and lastly, if I pull my thumb. Uh, the thumb tends to get a little bit stuck, unfortunately, but it is uh, tracking the thumb, at least uh, mostly. Um, so I have uh, some other settings here. So it's a little hard to demonstrate on video, uh, but I can set the time for the vibration motors to vibrate. Uh, so by clicking the vibrate button, it vibrates uh, on my hand. It feels very strange. <laughs> it's also fairly interesting. Um, last thing is I, I can set uh, the resistances, right? So these are the servos. So if I set this, uh, you need to set it fairly high because the uh, the spools don't actually spin that much. I think in a further iteration of this, I'd make the spools a bit smaller and maybe like uh, cut down on like the tension springs length or 
maybe something along those lines to try to um, to try to make it so that there's a more dramatic change when you uh, spin the the spool. Uh, but as it is, so if I set these, here I'll also set uh, the middle one to to 180, and just to show, I'll bring the thumb to 35. All right, and so um, so the way this works is actually all of the potential, all of the servos are set currently to 180, um, and these. Uh, uh, so this does a, a sort of reverse uh, value. Um, so uh, for the middle one, right, it says that I'm setting it to 180, but I'm actually going to be setting it to zero because I'm doing 180 minus uh, the value that's being displayed. So if I set resistances, all of my servos uh, change. Right, and so now if I try to, if I try to to move my middle finger, uh, it does move just because there's there's a just a little bit of wiggle room, but I can't actually like there's a, there's a lot of resistance. I can't actually spin uh, past the 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 servo motor. It works a little bit best here actually i'll set the index to be a little farther All right so now my finger can't go beyond uh, that point because there's a servo mo motor there and so we see uh the the results that we've got so uh, this has been uh, my haptic glove demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a good day.